I've gathered you all here today because I am once again in the mood to get rid of everything that I own. channel let's get down to business i had a crisis recently i just feel so cluttered in my entire life my entire life just feels cluttered can anyone relate to that not only is my physical room cluttered and as we all know my room is my sanctuary and how my room is directly affects me mentally but besides just that everything in my life i just feel cluttered and i really need to lift that weight off of my shoulders i made a video very similar to this one last year probably like around the beginning of the pandemic i did a huge closet clean out video i had never done a closet clean out so big in my entire life on this earth i introduced a lot of good organization into it it was a really good thing i'm so glad i did it i will link the video down below if you haven't seen it since then a lot has changed number one the pandemic number two a lot of the things that i own no longer fit me and I'm gonna blame that also on the pandemic. Number three, I did a lot of online shopping during the pandemic because what the f else was I supposed to do, okay? Now, I feel like I have too much shit. So in today's video, I am going to clean out my closet. Not only my closet, also my dresser. So pretty much just my clothing in general, we're cleaning out today. If you would like to clean along with me, feel free. Feel free to set up your, whatever you're watching this video on somewhere in your room and clean along with me. And then when you're done cleaning and you want to start revamping your wardrobe, like I plan on doing, look no further than the sponsor of today's video, which is ThreadUp. Thank you so much to ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. ThreadUp is an online thrift and consignment store where you can find your favorite women's and kids brands such as Lululemon, Urban Outfitters, Reformation, and more for up to 90% off estimated retail prices. There are over 40,000 brands on ThreadUp and new items come in every single day and they have everything from clothing to shoes to accessories and handbags and they truly cover all price ranges so you're sure to find something that you love whether you're looking to revamp or completely rebuild your wardrobe like i am or you just love online shopping and want to do it sustainably thread up is the website for you i wanted to quickly show you some of my recent pickups from thread up that i'm really excited about especially for the summer because i have literally no summer clothes sports bras are a staple for me so i got this one the brand is lululemon the estimated retail price of this is 58 dollars and i got it from thread up for $33.99. Next, I got this t-shirt that I just thought was sick. This is from Calvin Klein. The estimated retail price was $40 and I got it from thread up for only $16.99. Of course, jeans are another staple. I got these black ones. They are Levi's. The estimated retail price was $60 and I got them from thread up for $23.99. You can literally never have too many basic tees for the summer. This one is Jay Galt estimated at $15 and I got it from thread up for $11.99. These next two items are both graphic tees and both from Jay Galt as well. Well, this one estimated for 15 bucks retail and this one also estimated for 15 bucks retail and I got them for $12.99 and $9.58. Graphic tees like this are just so easy to throw on and they pair with pretty much anything. Next, I got this super cute and summery red and white tank from Urban Outfitters. Estimated retail $30 and I got it from ThreadUp for only $11.99 and I thought it looked so cute paired over this white tee I showed you earlier. This is another tank for the summer that I am absolutely obsessed with. The brand on this one is LA Hearts. Estimated retail $24 bucks, and I got it from thread up for $13.99. And last but not least, we have this super cozy zip up hoodie from the brand Sonoma, estimated retail $48, and I got it from thread up for only $19.20. So if you are interested in trying out thread up, you can get 30% off of your first order by using the link in my description and code Hannah E at checkout. You guys know I love thrifting and I also love online shopping. So to be able to do those two things together at the same time, I just, I adore it. So thank you again to thread up for sponsoring today's video. My goals here are as follows. Number one, I want to simplify my wardrobe a lot. A lot of the time I'll buy something specifically for like one event or one very specific thing and nothing else. So it's not really a functional thing that I'm buying. I don't think long term of how I could use this item in future outfits for other things you know what i mean i want to build a wardrobe right now i have a closet here's the difference for me a closet is just full of a bunch of different pieces that are kind of there individually but 
a wardrobe in my mind is more of an integrated system where every piece that's in there was picked out thoughtfully and with actual outfits in mind. A wardrobe has the building blocks and a closet is just a bunch of stuff that doesn't fit. It's like a puzzle with a bunch of pieces that don't fit together. Pretty much I want to be more intentional when I buy clothing and shoes. Basically create an entire new wardrobe for myself and an entire new system for building my wardrobe. I want to make an entirely separate video on that because that's going to be a process in itself. But this is really the first step going through and seeing what I love and keeping those pieces as the foundation to build the rest of the wardrobe. And then that whole process is going to be, we're going to do that another time. I also just in general want to live a more minimalistic lifestyle. I feel like I have so much stuff stuff and clutter that it makes me feel bogged down in a weird way mentally. I don't want to have a bunch of random sh** I want to have things that are useful for me, are functional for me, and that are well thought out additions and enhancements to my life. Beyond those like deeper goals here, I need to thin down my closet. I have gotten to the point where it's difficult for me to put clothes in. I don't have space anymore, you know? When you stick your hands in your closet and you can't really push, I'm at that point, so we need to get rid of that. I need to go through everything in my drawers as well because I have a feeling some of those things don't fit me anymore. And I also haven't seen, I swear to God, there are things in there that I like forgot about for a solid year. So stuff like that needs to go. In the previous video that I did, cleaning out my closet, I followed the Marie Kondo method where you take everything out of your closet, put it all on the floor, and go through each individual piece, hold it, feel if it sparks joy. If it does, then you keep it. If it doesn't, then you thank it for, you know, being there and you decide to get rid of it, whether that be donating it, reselling it or giving it away or whatever it is. So I'm going to do that exact same thing. I have already gotten rid of, I'm pretty sure five bags, five bags of stuff. I have one bag sitting right over here in my room and that I am actually going to list on my Depop. I have restarted my Depop account. I'll put the link in the description if you want to follow it and I am gonna list the stuff in that bag on Depop. See, I swear to God I'm doing it this time. I even bought some pink mailers for it. So it is on my to-do list, but I donated four bags of stuff to Goodwill the other day. Four. And I still have way too much but yeah, I think that's all I really wanted to say. That was a lot and I'm ready to get started. We're gonna start with my closet, take everything out and go through it. I'm gonna braid my hair today just cause I feel like it. I look like fing Pippi Long stalking. <laughs> We're back to the typical hairstyle, half up, half down. That's what we have to do. So I'm gonna insert some before clips right now so that you can see what we're working with and then we're gonna get started. stuff i yeah i don't really think about this logistically i don't really know where i'm gonna put things i guess the piles will have to go over here anyway now is the time to go through every single item and figure out what sparks joy and what doesn't i'm also gonna take notes while i'm doing this as to what gaps i feel like exist in my closet right now this will kind of be like a shopping guide for me when creating my new wardrobe i'll know exactly what i need that'll maybe help me to not just buy that I don't need. This part is so hard for me because I attach so much emotion onto these inanimate objects for no reason. I have issues parting with things. Even if I don't wear them, I have issues parting with them. I think that throughout this process of me going through all this stuff, I need to focus on not beating myself up over some things if I realize I actually don't like them and I don't know why I bought them. I'm not gonna get down on myself for that because that doesn't do anyone any good. And also I need to not attach so much emotion onto these pieces of clothing. I need to be okay with letting them go. At the end of the day, somebody else could use them and love them more than me. So that's what matters and that's the goal. I'm gonna just turn on a YouTube video right now and go through this stuff and I will check back with a status update. <laughs> I need to have an I don't know pile and the stuff I put in that pile is stuff I'm gonna need to try on and then determine my decision because I really don't know if some of this shit even fits me anymore don't want to 
get rid of it if it does fit me and I feel like I could use it, you know? There's gonna be a keep pile, a get rid of pile, and a I'm not sure, I need to try this on before making a decision pile. That's the conclusion I've come to. Why am I so afraid just to say a hello? Hey. Or to pick up the phone just to say what is up? It's been a long time and I've been thinking Give you a call to shoot the shit and fill you in, we're reminiscing Yeah <laughs> On the dumb things we did when we were only little children Up in the hills smoking cigarillos waiting on a vision Of what our life would be like If we were dreaming and together we were wishing Cause now I'm living in the city and you're back home And all I'm doing is I'm singing Yes I'm singing Okay, I need to try a few things on to see if they even fit anymore. And then I will decide which category to put those in. And I also need to go through the giveaway pile and decide if there's anything that I want to sell from that. And then I'll have to move that over here to this other bag. I just got done trying some things on and sorting them into piles accordingly. Now I think the immediate next step is to put all of the stuff I'm keeping back into my closet so then we can see what we're working with. And we also need to free up floor space because at the moment, let me just show you what my floor looks like. It honestly could be worse, but here are all of the hangers from what I am not keeping. This is a keep pile. And then all of this over here is stuff I'm not keeping. everyone it's the next day after i finished the closet part i was really not feeling it so that's okay we're back today we're ready to get started again so the weather outside currently sucks it rained earlier now it's just gloomy which personally i think is the best weather for cleaning your room or other various places i don't know why i just think that that's the best weather for this yesterday we tackled the closet i feel like we made some very good progress in there i ended up with another two full bags of clothing that i will be donating and i also added some stuff to my cell bag i do feel like i have some more wiggle room in my closet now i mean as i should i have now gotten rid of six bags of clothing how do i even still have shit in my closet is a question i can't answer Okay, I don't know. But that's a little recap of yesterday. Today, we are tackling my dresser and all of the drawers within it. This is really a huge root of my issue. I have so much shit in here and I rarely ever go through it and pull all of it out. Did I even do that last time? Or did I just focus on the closet? That's a great question. All right, we're gonna begin. We're gonna take everything out of these drawers right now. The top of my dresser also needs some serious work and help, but that's a discussion for another time. Right now we're gonna focus on one thing at a time. Do I do socks too? I mean, this is just ridiculous. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. I mean, I don't even know what's in here. I guess we do all of it. We, we have to do all of it. We're committed, we're doing all of it. I think these are all the socks I've accumulated over my entire time on this earth. <laughs> downstairs and grab a bag in preparation for this so that I can just put all the donate stuff in that bag and not have to clean it all up later you know what I mean so I'm gonna go do that right now let's begin
I just finished going through everything. I tried on a bunch of pants, figured out if I wanted to keep them or not. And I have another solid full bag of clothing that I am donating. And when I say full bag, I mean full bag. This thing is packed to the brim. That is what we got out of our drawers. And I am happy with this, I think. True test is going to come when I actually go to put everything back in my drawers, which I'm going to do right now. So we'll really get to see how much stuff I really got rid of. I also need to do better with my folding and organization of the drawers. I had a couple of the drawers organized the way that I wanted to. My jeans drawer, my t-shirt drawer had the folding mechanism that I like to use, but the other ones were a complete disaster and I need to do better with organizing those. I'm gonna begin with the jeans because I feel like jeans are the easiest things to fold. <laughs> do them in a color order. That'll be kind of cool. Start with black jeans and then kind of loop around and get to light wash. I think that'll be kind of cool. Okay. So here are the jeans. Fold them in half like this, hot dog style, if you know what I mean. And then lay them flat, take the one end and I fold it over to about here-ish, leaving a little bit of room. And then I take this end and I fold it into three like that. And then you put them all in the drawer like this. That's it. That's how I do that. just ordered some drawer dividers from Amazon. It's actually Prime Day right now, so they were on sale, 38% off. I'm really excited about these. I don't know why I didn't think of this before for my sock drawer because putting all of them in one big clump is so not good for me. I just can never find anything. Here we are. I can't wait for these to come. They're supposed to be here in three days, I think. I went through my socks. I put the pairs together that I could find and I ended up just throwing them back in the drawer for now. And then when my dividers get here, I will actually be able to organize them. But I did get rid of, I mean, a good amount of socks. I still have a ridiculous amount of socks. I definitely think we made progress and I'm really happy that I finally have a plan for how I'm going to organize them. I put everything back that needed to go back. I know I said earlier that the true test would be seeing if I actually had space left in my drawers. And let me just tell you guys, I have an entire drawer that's empty because that's how much space I've freed up. I have never seen my drawers this clean and organized. I also kind of completely reorganized my drawers. I had things in certain drawers with other things that like didn't make sense. So I reorganized. I feel so good right now. I'll show you my drawers if you care. This one you saw, the jeans drawer. This is the same. Then this is the t-shirt drawer, which is also the same. I do have some more space in here, I think, especially because some of these t-shirts that I put in here were in various other drawers because they didn't all fit in one drawer. And now they all do fit in one drawer, which is really good. Over here is the sock drawer, which obviously is not organized, but it will be when I have my dividers in here. And then this is where things got crazy. This drawer originally was some sweatpants and then some shorts and skirts and shit. So now, first of all, can we talk about how much space over here I still have? Now I put my yoga pants, leggings, and biker shorts and spandex shorts, all the like active wear bottoms and stuff are here. The yoga pants and leggings used to be in that bottom drawer. But I'm like, this makes more sense. So then here I have the sweatpants that I wear the most. And then over here we have shorts and then the one skirt that I have. So if you recall how I said I was keeping a little list of some things that I could buy for my wardrobe, like gaps that I have, shorts and skirts are something I put on the list because I clearly don't have those. This drawer down here, I also made some changes to. This used to be my pajama sets, but I decided to kind of make this all pajama bottoms and there's still pajama sets like on this half, but these are just pajama bottoms. And all of these that you see here were in this drawer previously. I just thought this made more sense. This whole drawer is pajamas. And then in this drawer, there used to be the leggings and also all of my sweatpants and also random t-shirts that didn't fit in this drawer. And now there's nothing. 
because I didn't need to use this drawer after organizing the rest of them. It could become sweatshirt overflow. I'll just have to figure that out, but I am so happy that I have so much space now. Like before the drawers had issues closing because there was just so much shit packed in each one and it wasn't organized at all. It was kind of just thrown in there. And now that I have A, less stuff and B, I've organized it significantly better. I just feel better. This is the grand total of what we've gotten rid of. Three garbage bags full of clothing that I'm going to be donating. This is my sell bag. As we see, it's overflowing and there's literally shit there too. We got rid of all of this and hopefully it will go to a better home that will love it and appreciate it. And I thank it so much for its service. You were great. Rock on guys. Have a good summer. Guys, I have a special guest. <laughs> this is Charlotte, everyone. Charlotte, say hi to the vlog. Oh my goodness, you beauty queen. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I am really glad that we did this. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that you liked it. Maybe you got some inspiration to clean your room and go through your stuff. Maybe you didn't. I appreciate you. Either way, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you've stayed until this point in the video, comment down below. I'm a real one because you're a real one. If you wanna see more videos from me, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I post a new video every single Sunday. And if you forget that I post a new video every single Sunday, or if you just wanna get notified right when I post a new video, make sure to turn on my post notifications. It's a little bell icon so that you never miss an upload and you get notified right when I post a new video. And again, thank you so much to ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. If you would like to check out ThreadUp, you can click the link in my description and get 30% off of your first order with my code Hannah E. Again, that's 30% off of your first order from ThreadUp. Some restrictions do apply, so make sure to check my description and click the link if you're interested. I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,